let's take a look at parallel compression, how it works, and what it can do for us. Parallel compression gets its name from the fact that there are two signals routed in parallel. One is a dry, unaffected signal, and the other signal is compressed and then mixed back together with the original. This technique is used to bring up the low-level audio in a track without affecting the transient response of the higher-level audio. In this mixer that I have on screen, my music is going to come in on DAW 1 and 2. This will be my dry channel. From here, I need to send to my aux, which is where I'll put the compression. Turn my send up to unity, go to my aux channel, and I'm going to insert a Mio strip so that I can use its compressor. Turn off auto gain, and I'm going to set my threshold to minus seven. I want this to be a very steep limiting kind of compressor. So I'll set that to a thousand one on the ratio, turn down the attack, and I'm going to turn up the gain to plus six dB. So now I have a compressor enabled on my aux. I have to take the aux and route that to the main bus, which is the same place that my unaffected audio will go. So the dry signal and the wet signal will be mixed together in the main bus. And I will roll audio and bring the aux fader up. So you're going to hear more definition in the lower level a signal in this drum loop, which will be low frequency. And there it is muted, and I'll bring it back in. Something very important to keep in mind when you're doing this kind of parallel processing in a digital environment is that you have to work in a system that has a latency compensation. By putting a processor on my wet channel, that potentially could throw it out of time alignment with my dry channel if your system doesn't handle latency compensation. Metric Halo's mixer is completely latency compensated, so I can put in whatever plugins I want anywhere on any channel and not have to worry about the time alignment changing between a dry channel and an affected channel. The other advantage that I have is I'm using a box that has plus DSP. So while this routing with an aux bus would work for a non-plus DSP unit, there's a much easier way to do that, and that is within a graph. So I'm going to take away all of this stuff that I don't need and just bring up a graph. And I already have a pre-built stereo parallel compressor. So this graph is doing the same thing that I just did in the mixer. My signal comes in here. The dry version goes into one input of a summer one for each channel. The dry input also goes to a Mio compressor, which feeds the other input of each one of these summers. Summer is just a, a two in one out mixer. And what I've done for the purposes of demonstration here is I have an AB switch and a volume control that will turn the volume of this signal chain down so that it's the same signal as the dry signal. So what I'm going to be able to do for you now is play the drum loop and let you listen to a parallel compressor versus just a single compressor, which is what this AB switch is toggling between, so that you can hear the differences in those. So we're currently listening to just the compressor output, and when I turn this green light off, that will be the parallel compression.
parallel compression is a great way to dig out some of the low level audio in a drum track or in a vocal track without affecting the transient response of the track. And it's also very easy to do within a graph, taking advantage of metric halos, time aligned, latency compensated environment so that you can do all of these different pathways, affect them differently and recombine them without any kind of time alignment issues.